POV, you're in my cabinet while I do my skincare. Okay, I'm gonna move those out of the way so you can see. But hello, I am back and I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine. Um, and it has definitely been different since my last routine. My cat. Anyway, so it has definitely updated since my last routine. Um, and so I have definitely changed and used different products since then. So I thought I would update the video. And maybe it might be helpful to some people. Maybe it won't. Maybe, you know, it. And I don't know. It's just, I'm just putting it up there. So I'm bored. Anyway, so this is all I got right now. Anyway, so let's get to it. The phone to stay there. Anyway, so welcome to my bathroom. This is my shower, and I have my sink there, and you're my medicine cabinet. Anyways, let's take off the makeup. Um, I did put on makeup, and I tried filming the tutorial for this. I did not like the way it came out, so that's okay. That means I get to take it off for another video. When I do wear makeup, like right now, um, I use an all clean balm, which is a cleansing balm from uh, Hemish. I think that's how you say it. That's the brand. Um, it looks like this, and I got it off of Amazon. I get most of my skincare products off of Amazon or Korean websites. Most of my skincare is online, except for maybe one or two items, which I buy at like um, HEB or Target or something. But um, anyways, before I do that, I need to put my hair back. There we go. My hands are clean, so I'm gonna go in with my little spatula, and I love oil balms, cleansing balms, whenever I take off my makeup. It just makes everything come off way easier, and uh, my skin doesn't feel irritated afterwards because I'm not taking and pulling by using makeup wipes. Um, I think in my last video, I didn't even have a cleansing balm. I used like some like weird like concoction I made, or I don't even remember what I did, but I know I did not have a cleansing balm. But um, I just like to get some on my fingers and just hold down on my eyes and on my eyebrows and let like the product heat up a little bit with my skin and then I just slowly go in circles with my ring finger just to make sure I get all the product off and it melts away and also it's just so satisfying seeing all of the product just melt down your face like this. So. And it doesn't sting or anything, so it's nothing strong. Um, the ingredients in this balm, I forget, but it's mostly like um, oils, um, herb oils, and, so, and I don't think coconut oil's in this. I'm not sure, but I don't really like to use coconut oil on my skin, just because using that, would, it's just harder to get off when it comes to double cleansing, so yeah. I think I'm good and I'm practically blind because all the oil got in my eyes. It doesn't sting though. So yeah, I'm gonna wash this off. Okay, so um, one thing I also changed a lot is whenever um, I'm done cleansing um, my, my first cleanse, I don't dry my face, I let it be wet and drippy so I can move on to my next cleanser and it'll kind of like kind of not foam up but like get really work it into my skin so i'm using the low ph good morning gel cleanser from closer x this is my second bottle of this um since the last one i used so i really like it and it's just a simple gel cleanser that's how i like it it says good morning but i use it for night too just because it's it's gentle enough to use in the morning but also really good to use during the night to get everything off so i'm just gonna go ahead and Work that into my skin and really concentrate around my nose because I get um, clogged pores there, my chin, especially around this area. And just use my fingertips to really rub in. Okay, after water boarding myself in my sink, um, I am a dripping wet and I don't pat dry my face with a towel anymore. I just let my face kind of air dry and let it like do its own thing because my bathroom is small and what I've noticed is that when I leave my towel, my face towel to dry um, and hang, 
it doesn't dry how like I want it to. It kind of just like stays in the room, in this room that's always switching from steamy to dry, and it kind of just gets like real dirty real fast and so just to avoid the whole problem of having to use a face towel every single uh, fresh face towel like every few days I'm just like cutting it out like I don't even need it it's you don't really even need a face towel let's be honest because you just, you're just drying your face so and plus whenever you keep your face moist and you use products on top of it when it's not too um when it's not obviously not dripping but when it's damp um your products are able to soak into your skin better and you get better results from your products. So I just stopped with drying my face. Um, and my next product I'm going to be using are toners. These are essential now to my skincare routine. My other routine, I don't even remember using a toner to be honest. Did I? I think I used this. I think I used the Neogen um, Collagen Peptide Neo Toner. Now this is like a moisturizing toner and a collagen toner. Um, it doesn't really exfoliate your skin as much. This is really good if you want to use after an exfoliating toner, but I really like this. I mean, I finished the whole bottle. There's only barely any left, but they don't sell this anymore. So this I don't even use. So I had to find something else that's a little bit more moisturizing and not as um, not an exfoliating one, something I can use afterwards. So I have these two. I have my AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Miracle Toner from Some By Me. This is a Korean brand. Um, I got it off of Amazon. So they sell their products on Amazon. So this is a really great exfoliating toner that I like to use. Um, I also want to use, not use, but repurchase the uh, AHA, BHA Clear Fine Treatment Toner by Cozerex. This is the travel size one because I use this whenever I travel and it's a really good toner. I'd almost say it's better than this one. I mean, this is still really good, but I like this one a little bit more just because it soaks into my skin a little bit better and I can layer this on a little bit more better than this one. So, um, I just want to finish this up. So I'm, this is just what I use every single night. Sorry to hear rustling in the background. It's my cat and my dog. They're chasing each other. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to apply this, oh my god, they're loud, and just pat onto my skin. I usually do just do one to two layers of this, so I'm just add one more, and we're talking about foaming up, I'm talking about like, see how it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's like foaming up a little bit, because the product needs time to kind of dry down, it doesn't layer um, amazingly, but it still gives me good results. Um, ever since adding in a chemical exfoliant, my skin has been way smoother and brighter and my complexion has just um, looked way better. So I highly recommend a physical, not sorry, a chemical exfoliant and a physical one because I've tried physical and they kind of just damage my skin more. They give more irritation to my skin and like um, my acne scars don't go away, it kind of just flares up everything. So. A chemical one has really saved my skin. Um, after applying that one, I go into my Soon Jung PH 5.5 Relief Toner. This is from Etude House. I also got this off of Amazon. Um, I got this, I'd say, a week and a half ago, and so far, I really like it. It's perfect for layering up and for just giving relief onto your skin, um, especially after like a long day, let's say you're outside in the sun, or um, your skin's just irritated, it's red, you know, this is gonna really help with uh, any irritation on. So this is great for layering. I do about three layers of this. It just layers so well. And I kind of wait for my other, uh, my exfoliator, my toner to dry down a little bit where my skin's not um, too dry, but just, a little bit so that I can layer this one one better and I'm running out of breath oh my god I need to work out <sighs> okay anyways I think this is my fourth or third one so I'm just gonna lay this one on and bring it down to my neck because it's very important to bring your skincare to your neck they say all the way down to your nipples but right now I don't feel like doing that because obviously I am filming Anyway, so I highly recommend this as a start off toner for people who are gonna get into like um, moisturizing toners. I really recommend this whole line. This whole line I've heard really good stuff about, but this specific toner is really good. Okay, next are serums. Now, for me, I have a very 
hard time with serums I found out recently is because I don't know if it's the weather that I'm in which is kind of humid but it kind of clogs my pores if I put on too much and if I put it on consecutively too many times in a week. So there are only two that I've recently just kind of stuck to. I still want to try some other ones like more anti-aging serums but these two are ones that I just use um, every other day, every three days. Um, it's the Cozyrex Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is a really good serum. It's very thick and it applies very nicely all over the skin. And then my other one is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 serum. This is a really inexpensive serum. This is also, this is again a travel sized one. So I will definitely be repurchasing something similar to this because I really love snails for my skin. But um, I also want to try something different. Anyways, this is a really inexpensive one as well. I get this off of Amazon. So you can find this off of Sephora, I believe, and I think Ulta now. But before I apply a face mask, a sheet mask, I like to apply a serum on first. So I think just for today, I'm going to be applying my The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid plus B5. This is just a really good serum. It's thinner than my snail one um, for sure, but it's a really nice serum to apply before I apply a mask because we all know hyaluronic acid is something that you want to put on before a moisturizer just because hyaluronic acid draws in moisture from your skin um not from your skin but it draws in from the air technically the air or whatever product you apply on top and if it doesn't if there's not enough moisturizing product on top of your hyaluronic acid it'll take moisture from your skin so this is something i like to apply before a face mask so for my face masks i have two favorite ones i've been liking so far i have the vital hydra solution by dr dart and then i have my nm Mm, like N M M and M N M F. Uh, uh, is this even a word? Aquaring, whatever. Anyways, ample mask. This is from MediHeal. This is a really good mask. Um, I really like it. It's just a really good one, just to really hydrate your skin and really just bring back um, some moisture. So I have these two. This is my last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I get this. Uh, off of a Korean, well I got it at a Korean store, or not a Korean store, a uh, makeup store in 99 Ranch, which is like an Asian grocery store and they have like one of those kiosks and I got this whole pack from there and then I got this off of Marshalls, yeah, um, I got this on Marshalls and it was, it was a five pack for 14 something so this is a really good one too, I really like it, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my MediHeal mask, it's just, just a nice a nice thin sheet to apply onto your skin. I always store my masks in a fridge just because it's really gonna help calm my skin and it's the coldness just feels really good on my face. So anyways, look how thin this is. It's like, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and do this off camera. Okay, so as you can see, um, the mask is so thin, you can still see my skin through it, which I like. Uh, it just feels more comfortable on my skin, it doesn't feel like someone laid a wet blanket on my face. So that's why I like these ones, they're very thin. The thinner the, the, thinner the mask, the harder it is to put on though. So yeah. And we're back. So let's peel off our face mask. <sighs> You can see it says even MediHeal on the mask. Fancy! Okay, now I'm gonna rub in the product. Very careful in my eyes. Don't do me neck. Okay, let's play a game of what's in my bucket. Wait, that didn't work. Hold on. Let's play a game of what's in my pocket. This is going to be. Curology! Ta da Okay, so in Curology, um, I use this every other night, not every night, but only like whenever I feel like I'm getting a breakout coming out. So let me tell you, Curology is the thing. Like it is the savior of my skin. Curology. Okay, so 
um my skin has definitely gone so hold on th this time is not gonna make sense my skin has come so far along it has done so much progress because of curology um and i make sure that i don't use it all the time so my skin doesn't get used to it but um i'll put up you know the video of what my or the description of what my ingredients are but since it's still like daytime i'm not gonna bother putting some right now because it's not what i put on um during the day um but let's move on to moisturizer in my pocket i have my CeraVe, my CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, Ultra Lightweight. Um, it is a nighttime lotion, but it's thin enough to use during the day. Crazy, right? You can use a nighttime lotion during the day. All right, and I'm gonna apply that onto my skin. And it's, it has no sunscreen, so it is good to use day or night. So after I put on my moisturizer, I put on an eye cream. I use the Arborian Skin Therapy Ginseng Infusion Total Eye Eye Cream. Okay, and it looks like this. I stole this from my mom when I was last visit her and because she has a new eye cream now. So I'm like, well, let me take that one. I use a lot of Arborian products. So um, this is something I really like. I go in with my ASMR. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, so it's the Sun Prees Mild Airy Fresh SPF 50 Plus PA Plus Plus Plus. This is a very nice sunscreen. It's from Etude House. It's very watery. It's drippy. It's very drippy. Anyways, I don't want to waste that. And I like putting this onto my face um, because it's very good to put on sunscreen every single day rainy cloudy don't matter what time of day it is or well, except for nighttime what kind of day it is you put on your sunscreen faded all my scarring away because my scars weren't getting a tan you know so and bring it out to my neck bring it out guys so this is my finished skincare routine Ooh, we made it to the end how many steps was this i think this was like 12 steps to be honest could be more could be less it all depends on how my skin is feeling that day today i really needed my skin to go through everything because i have not done like my full step like face mask serum one in like about two days i'd say so i only do this like every like almost maybe twice a week yeah, I'd say I do this like twice, three times a week. I do the whole like step by step. But um, if I'm not doing this, I'm doing something very simple. Like the, the, at least what I do in the nighttime is um, in the morning, they kind of are the same besides the sunscreen is wash my face, put on toner, and um, probably my Curology and then uh, moisturizer, my CeraVe. So yes, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys... Um, like this video. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll be putting up more YouTube videos after this. I always say hopefully because you might not see me for the next two months or you could see me next week. So it, yeah, um, I don't know. It just depends on what ideas I come up with. But I really wanted to get the skincare video up because my skincare, I feel like has changed a whole ton since my last video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!